back to the channel. Lily from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo, so we're going to get started with your reading. I'm going to do a Celtic cross reading tonight, and this probably won't be a super long <clears throat> reading, um, but I will do my best to try to be here at least 30 minutes, okay? So let's get into your reading, Virgo, and see what messages Spirit has for you to start, okay? You've got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay, that's a good card to get. And you also have, oh, mirrors, self-reflection, uh, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships that reflect our wounds, introspection. Okay, wow. So Virgo, there's definitely an energy here of... Um, doing a lot of self-reflection somebody could be you or another person or two people um <clears throat> and there is paradise as well you know virgo it just feels like someone um there's somebody here who's like doing some self-reflection looking in the mirror maybe talking to other people um time with friends um and having some little revelations of some sort I, I just kind of feel like this energy for may or even presently and going forward there's something here about um looking at a past relationship or just relationships that you've been in um talking with other people friends spending time with friends um i, I feel like some of you might go on a, a trip somewhere or have this whole like palm tree vibe going on in your head <laughs> and there's something here i i just feel like you're you're kind of looking at yourself or, an, or another person is looking at themselves maybe they're attached to palm trees and um <clears throat> it feels like a reevaluation of some relationship in the past okay um, and speaking of which, let's get into the past and see what the message was or what might have occurred or if we can find out who this person might be. Okay. All right. So there was some offer of some sort, solid offer that somebody perhaps made to you in the past that seemed like it was the real deal. Okay. But it might have taken a really long time for somebody to come forward and make an offer to you. Okay. Um, and that, that Eight of Cups makes me feel like maybe there was a separation in the past because something might have taken a long time for some. Okay. Um, I do see there was something made though, but it, it just kind of makes me, yeah, the vibe I get is that something like was so slow and it took a really long time. Okay. Um, now let me see what the present energy is here. Okay, present energy is the king of wands. So Virgo, I feel like your energy, a lot of patience and waiting for someone to follow through with something. Uh, maybe somebody, like for example, somebody might have proposed, there might have been an engagement, but like the, it never, the actual marriage situation never happened. Or someone uh, made an offer to be like in a committed relationship with you, but it, it never really panned out, right? And and I see you sitting here in this King of Wands, like kind of being really, I don't know, feisty, but just just kind of feels like presently looking back on that. And I don't know if you're if you're waiting for that person to f still come forward. Or if you are looking back on that and being in a very kind of, al you're in like some kind of alpha type of energy right here where there's like confidence. You might be reflecting also on a past relationship of like why something didn't pan out. Okay. There's a lot of self-reflection here. Um, you might have some friends that are saying things to you or ta you're talking to some friends. 
you know, and getting some clarity. Let me see what is crossing you here. Challenge and cross. Yeah, it's kind of hard for you to feel victorious, right? Um, the, um, so they're telling me there, there might be some lack of closure. And maybe you are still, um, if you're not with someone, maybe you're hoping to, they'll give you closure um, or you're hoping to reconcile with someone uh, maybe just to close it out or to reconcile and you know keep moving forward in some kind of relationship but i feel like you know your victory and your success is a challenge for you to get because you kind of have your back to it it looks like you're still focusing on the past of some type of closure um, that maybe you are hoping or were hoping um, to receive like questions, you know, an offer gets made, but then somebody leaves, you know, there's something here not making sense to you, Virgo. There's something not making sense. Why would someone say they love you and then not pursue you? Uh, why would someone um, say all the things that you wanted to hear and then you know, not do anything, not back it up. Okay. Um, I see you being someone with this King of Wands. Okay. Um, you know, being pretty sure of yourself and feeling confident and, and being bold and charming and courageous and having all the elements of the fire at this time, maybe on the cusp of a fire sign. But um, it almost feels like you, you don't feel like you will have your victory yet until you have some kind of closure and maybe someone made an offer and then abandoned you know or uh, could have just kind of withdrew or withdrew the offer or they retreated of some of some way in some way okay and because the eight of cups can be a card of like temporary separation so like they make an offer and then they disappear and then they come back in and, and say no it's still going on and then saying that they still want to keep moving forward very slowly and then they kind of disappear. It's like kind of feels like a very half-assed kind of energy. Um, I mean, just the Knight of Pentacles alone is like like a, watching a clock, you know, um, someone very, very slow and just laying it, making the offer and then doing their own thing. So I don't maybe if you split up, I don't know what your situation is right now, but you have your back to that six of wands. You do. It, it's kind of you don't I, I'm just picking up an energy like you you don't feel like you will be able to have your hmm. okay they're giving me a couple of different messages you don't feel perhaps like you will able to have uh you're seeking some kind of recognition you don't feel like you're getting it for someone to just acknowledge just some person just to acknowledge you in some way or explain something about their maybe some type of behavior or why they reached out, made an offer, did whatever, and then never really followed through with that, okay? And the other message I'm picking up here, Virgo, is that um, you don't even want attention from uh, some one, some Virgo here really doesn't want all the accolades and attention from other people because I feel like you have maybe some unfinished business here that either you are struggling to close out yourself, give yourself closure, just accept it. I, I see you looking back at that offer still like questioning what happened? Why? Why come in? Maybe you're questioning, you know, your spirit guides. Why? Why did this person come in? Did they come in to just, you might even be asking, did they come in to hurt you? Um, so there's a lot of, um, and you know, the king of wands isn't usually someone who sits and overthinks things. Um, but this king is definitely in a sitting possession and is prepared <clears throat> to talk about something, okay? Because King of Wands is all about fire, active energy. But the King of Wands is not as active as the Knight of Wands, not chasing after it. The King of Wands is like, I'm ready to talk, but I'm not going to force you to talk, right? And you're very focused on that. <laughs> It seems like you're, you're you're just, I don't know if you're waiting. It, it kind of gives me that waiting energy, just sitting there, like waiting for that bus to come and for this person maybe to come back, perhaps, or make a return to follow through on the offer that they made. Okay, let me see what's, what's driving this reading. What's driving you, Virgo? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So you've got the Ten of Swords here. So... I definitely feel like what's driving you at this time is, is, is it really over? Asking yourself, is it really over? Do, uh, like, kind of saying to yourself, like, Virgo, does Virgo need to um, 
surrender and just give it up just forget about it just leave it be just you know have a complete ending here and not even wait for some kind of explanation or something to come through it's a little bit of an un, un, unsolved thing it just feels like any like either somebody told you that you know they were going to, i don't know virgo it's like someone i don't know if they made a promise or if there was a genuine um offer that was made and just they just didn't really there was nothing really I don't know. They didn't really follow through with it. It's almost as if they made an offer and then just didn't move forward with that. It almost, I feel like maybe that's what it felt like for you. So what's driving you this whole thing and why you're sitting there waiting is because you are like, well, does this person betray you? Or, you know, did they stab you in the back on purpose? There's a lot of, not a lot, but there's just like, you're seeking some kind of answer. I think you're seeking some kind of answer about maybe where somebody went or what happened here okay uh let me see what's crowning upon you yeah see that's that's the so it's a contrast you know virgo it's like you want that apology you want that reconciliation not necessarily to get back together with someone someone might but there's like okay well are we going to have a reunion or is this person going to come back explain it we're going to talk about something or try to have some kind of dialogue um, maybe are they going to apologize do i need to apologize or should i just let it go okay but you're very still focused on that that past energy and i know i'm not talking to all of you so leave space for those of you who are, for those who are resonating with this okay so yeah you're kind of in this like you want to have your victory you want to feel like you know you're okay some of you might need that in order to feel um okay you know like an explanation <laughs> you know what i mean i feel like i just keep repeating myself some of you want uh, some type of reunion with this person maybe even just to talk or to put the you know the nail in the coffin on the situation or if to see it everything just feels like it's left up in the air just feels like it's just all floating around you know and it's just floating around and there's nothing secure there's a little bit of security but then nothing follows after that okay um i don't know maybe you got ghosted or something like that might, might have happened so like i said i don't feel like you are bottoming out here at all i don't feel like that but i do feel like you you want some closure and you want it from someone here who who dipped out after making some kind of offer um all right what's coming towards you what can virgo expect in the near future in regards to this situation Okay. All right. So there's going to be some communication. I do feel like someone is, uh, there is an energy of assertiveness and uh, some kind of change being made. Let give Virgo a little more clarity on that. What is this about here? And like I said, some of you could be this King of Wands, or it could be a connection with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or just someone who's in that energy. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean,. Virgo, I feel like there is some kind of a return. Um, I So if you're waiting for some kind of communication or someone to tell you about something that happened, um, I do feel like that energy will be coming in the near future to talk about why somebody moved on um to talk about if there was because these are both travel cards and this is a travel card and also the, the knight of pentacles so if there was some distance to talk about the obstacles within the relationship okay um and also okay they just said you might get an email or a text you always feel like the knight of swords is like you know the um the post post person the mail person you know bringing bringing information bringing some news sending a message okay um i just want to get more a little more clarity on that okay because i do feel like somebody's gonna <sighs> all right they're just saying um the reason somebody couldn't follow through they they, they wanted to go forward with you but they either kept abandoning the, abandoning the relationship because they weren't ready or they weren't 
um, fully content with themselves. There was some stuff that this person needed to do. I feel like the conversation is basically going to happen where somebody tells you, um, I needed to get out of a negative place that I was in. And um, I feel like it's going to, because you're, you're facing here and you have your back to this to this energy i do feel like it's going to come in as kind of a like like up behind you like some kind of a surprise not expect um an explanation like um like you'll kind of be like oh i, I just didn't expect to hear from this person you know um i'm hearing the reason why i didn't contact you um or the reason why i ghosted or the reason why i avoided this situation is um because i needed to get out of something that i was in and it doesn't feel like this person didn't want to be in your life it feels like either they were separating themselves from you or disappearing because they had other things that they had to take care of and they couldn't bring them so someone made an offer that they really couldn't back up you know they they kind of like this is like a placemat when i look at this coin it's like here here's a placeholder stay but the, i don't feel like this person really explained fully to you um that they that they i feel like this person either like maybe proposed or engagement or said things that made you feel like yes they wanted to be with you and they were really going to go forward with it but it was going to take a really long time and um they weren't fully committed so they were pre-committing that's what i feel like maybe more of like um a promise ring versus an engagement ring okay or a promise that we're going to be together versus and not really being together okay here this energy comes back this either this person had to go on some kind of journey they had to <coughs> make some changes in their life with the six of swords um there was a transition or they needed to relocate or something and an explanation about that okay so you know that's what i feel like they're gonna do okay or at least or if it's not them coming back to tell you that because i'm going to look at this person but if it's not them actually messaging you or talking to you about that um you will be made aware of what you are seeking to know in regards to what they haven't said to you i feel like that's what you will be made aware of okay uh, let me see your advice virgo what is your advice in this situation what should virgo do in regards to this situation okay so interestingly enough you've got the five of swords in the reverse um well the first thing i'm, I'm hearing is um just be patient you're going to find out if it's not them telling you you are gonna you are the truth will be it will be revealed to you okay um you will find out on your own either through somebody else or some type of information that you receive you might find out that they've moved or something along those lines. You will get the closure that you need. I, I feel like you might have a lot of anxiety. You, you can't enjoy your life with that five of or that six of wands because you've got this little thing that's unfinished. Your advice here is to be patient, not try to f put a um, square peg in a, round, a round peg into a square hole. Um, five of swords reversed is, yeah, like... Um, find yourself put yourself in a peaceful place don't sweat it don't sweat this thing okay because it is going to come to you you are going to find out okay that's your advice right now just i'm hearing just wait wait for the answer to come to you okay wait for the revelation because what's whatever's in the dark comes to light okay and you will find out and and that will change things a little bit for you okay um, it may give you an opportunity to close it out yourself, or it may give you a better understanding of something. Let's take a look at this person a little more in depth, what's, um, what their energy is. Okay, this person, all right, so they have the seven of pentacles, right? Yeah, so I feel like this person is him and Han. <laughs> Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah, this is their energy right here, okay? Should I invest? Should I not? They're in contemplation, okay? So what are they contemplating? What is this person thinking about the Virgo in this relationship? Oh, okay. Hmm, yeah. 
Should I make change? Should I take action? Should I return? Should I get in that car and go talk to Virgo? Should I, um, or is it, should I not? You know, um, the chariot is always um, a card about making change. Uh, going from point A to point B, okay? Taking action to enforce change. Go on this journey, okay? So this person, they just, they think a lot. <laughs> this person, I don't know if you're dealing with another person who, who thinks maybe as much as you. This person, they, they question themselves constantly. That's what I see. Someone here who's just never trusting themselves and never sure of what they should do and they have to like they have to sit in the thinking man pose or the thinking woman pose and contemplate and contemplate and contemplate and taking action is not really their cup of tea <laughs> which is why the knight of pentacles is here you know the knight of pentacles is not not the knight of swords knight of pentacles is not the knight of wands okay um if this person if that is them coming forward to tell you about why they left or why they did what they did, um, it's because they thought long and hard about it. So if you've been waiting for a while, trust me when I tell you this person's been thinking about how to approach and what to say. Okay. Um, let me see how this person feels about Virgo. What are their feelings for Virgo? They're just, I just see a lot of hesitancy to make some changes here. Or to tell you something. This person's feelings for Virgo. Hm. Okay. Got a lot of pentacle energy. This person's not really very deeply connected to their feelings. But really not much. They, they think more of a like, practical. They're more of a practical person. Um, that's why with the Eight of Cups here, they're walking away from their feelings. <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, I do feel like this person has you on a, some kind of a pedestal. That's for sure. I mean, they do think about you a lot. And they see all the potential of what you guys can be. Um, is this person, like, is there a fear to talk to Virgo? Is there a fear to reach out? I mean, they definitely have you, like, and they definitely think about you. And they're really, like, thinking about what to do with their pentacle, you know? Should they follow through with it or not? Well, do they have a fear of reaching out to Virgo? Yes. 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 Definitely afraid. Afraid to talk to you. Why? Why is this person fearful to talk with Virgo? Because <laughs> Virgo might cut them with a knife <laughs> um <clears throat> virgo you might you might be um they have a fear to tell you the truth and what is that truth they have a fear of giving you clarity and what is that truth okay oh all right wow okay that they were egotistical and they were only thinking about themselves and they were being selfish um, in breaking your heart or breaking this thing up or doing what they did. So why do they have a fear of that? Because they have shame. They don't want to be judged. This person's a high, high they're, they're highly sensitive. They're an overthinker. Maybe you have another connection with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, whoever. Uh, it could be anywhere. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Yeah. Um, I, I get a sense, Virgo, that this person really, you know, I, I feel like they meant well with the with the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, that they really did. Like that's a solid offer to me, always with that card. But there might be an energy here where this person wasn't fully ready to commit because with that Nine of Cups in the reverse, this person might have been um, either lazy or they were just looking for just indulging in their. Um, indulging in that emotional buffet from other people you know i i do feel like this person though is um it feels more like they just they, they knew they didn't want to lose you but they also weren't fully ready to have you that's really what i feel like the thing is here you know and um that whole self-reflection thing going on i feel like this person are they, are they like 
well, what is causing this self-reflection? Because like, I feel like that's their energy. Are they having conversations with other people, like friends? Friends, what is, what is this self-reflection they're coming to? Huh. Wow. Okay, well, for some of you, it's like they stay... I'm going to get all heart mushy here, but I feel like this person sees themselves within you. And <clears throat> there might have been a level, some level of immaturity. Now, you know, the knight can be a little bit of an immature energy, you know, because it's a knight, it's not a king. I feel like you were more, um, maybe you felt like you were more on a mature level than this person. Um... So the world's in the reverse, okay. So I'm also hearing that there is um, some regret or remorse for um, hurting you. I don't know, Virgo. Uh, I also feel like um, if, if they're going to come back to um, explain things to you, which I do feel like they're they're in this, they're there, and they're in this place going through the month of May where they do want to tell you that they haven't gotten over you. Um, but maybe they don't think that you would take them back or that you wouldn't trust what they say. Um, show Virgo what the outcome is. I'm sorry, not the outcome. Hopes and fears. Well, you know, Virgo, I mean, I feel like there might be this fear they can be stuck at this crossroad and never really being able to make a decision whether to stay or go because you don't have enough information about which direction to go. Um, but I also feel like you hope you will be able to just make a decision on your own. You know, I, I, Virgo, I feel like this kind of feels like someone who, you know, especially for the, the Virgo feminines who received some kind of a proposal. And this feels like getting all the way up to the altar. I'm using it as an example and someone getting cold feet, not showing up for the wedding this is kind of feels like this energy it was like dangle this carrot and and you know both agreeing that we're going to go in this direction and then someone just kind of backs out and then either disappears or just doesn't follow through which is gosh that that is tough to deal with and i if you're going through that i can completely understand why you would be seeking to get closure about that because that there you know it doesn't have to be that exact thing but the feeling of someone you walking hand in hand or side by side with someone and getting all the way to the place you want to be and them telling you the whole time that's where we're going that's where we're heading and you both agreeing to that and then all of a sudden they just do it about face and leave and say nothing that would make perfect sense of why you're still focused on that trying to get answers and i do feel like this person does want to come about come towards you they're they're possibly trying to figure out how to get over their fear to tell you what happened. I don't even know if they're at this place where they would ask you to take them back or ask you to forgive them. But I know I can tell you they haven't let go. Because every time they left, it was only meant to be a temporary thing. For whatever reason, whatever they had to deal with or whatever they weren't ready to do, they always had it in their heart that that offer that they made and what they said was true and real, but they couldn't back it up. They couldn't follow through with it which is not fair to you, Virgo. Absolutely not fair to you. And so it makes perfect sense why <laughs> kind of hard to just move on. It's, but it, it looks like it's, it's, a, it's a crossroad you, you're going to come to. And you may have to, if this person hymns and haws about how long it's going to take for them to give you some kind of explanation or um, reconcile with you or, or try to make it work again or anything to come forward, Virgo, you may have to pick up your, um, your bags and go, okay? Um, let me see the outcome for Virgo. It's interesting how this reading has come out because, you know, they're always different. They're always different. All right, let me see. Outcome for Virgo. All right, you got the Page of Swords and hmm, the Hermit in the reverse. So I feel like Virgo, <laughs> it looks like you're going to come out of some kind of isolation that you've been in and you're going to find out the truth 
I, I think you're going to probably seek for it. I think you're 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 definitely going to come out of hiding or whatever you're in and try to get clarity um, about this situation because you know I don't feel like you really are able to. I don't know how you're going to, maybe you will, but I don't know how you're going to be able to just close this out yourself. You may have a conversation with this person um, just for some kind of answer, even if it's like, I don't know, somehow they got sucked into a, I don't know, a leaf vacuum on the side of the road and they got lost for 10 years. I don't know. You, I feel like at this point you really take anything because you're really just trying to set yourself free so that you can find someone that is going to back up what they say, not just, um, yeah, you're, you're going to free yourself from this. Okay. Um, I, Virgo, this reading for me just feels like gaining, um, closure about things. That's all. I don't, I don't, I, I, you're going to do what's best for you. That's what I see here, whatever that means. You know, for some of you, it might be best for you to give this person a chance that they come in with a bloody stump and they try to, you know, give you that clarity that you need. It might be a relief and, and some of you might, you know, actually forgive this person. And if they're coming in sincerely, you might actually say, okay, okay, no, I wish you had told me, you know, um, you might give them another chance. I'm not telling you to give anybody a chance. And I'm, tell I'm not telling you to walk away from someone, but you might give them another chance. But I definitely feel whatever your decision, you're going to make the decision that's best for you and come from a place of love for yourself 100% okay I don't feel like there's going to be any any other decision you're going to make whether this person comes back and gives you closure or clarity or tries to reconcile with you you're going to do th this is where things are different now okay because your decision is going to come from you know from you for you in regards to your heart let me see what your messages of love are here. And then, I'm, you guys, I'm going to have to end it out because I'm recording this in 4K. And I, I don't know if I'm going to have it up to you in time. Sorry, I just was not feeling well today. And I had a crazy busy day. So I had to record this, like, right before you're listening to it. All right, twin flame. That's all you need to know. This is a twin flame issue. And that's what the struggle is. This is twin flames and separation or coming back together and separation coming back together. Virgo, let yourself be your own twin flame at this time. <laughs> honor yourself, respect yourself in regards to this relationship or whatever the comings and goings are. You know, if you don't get that closure, make up some closure for yourself. I don't know what that could be. You know, um, I recall Olivia Newton-John when her husband disappeared. Um, she never got closure on that. He was just gone. I don't know if you remember reading in the news about that. And then he was presumed to be dead. And then other people later down the years were saying that they kept spotting him and she never got her closure. There were people saying that, oh, he's still alive and he is on some kind of island somewhere, you know, and she did not let her heart get her hopes up. She gave herself closure and moved on and then met a, an amazing person that stayed with her until her last breath, you know, um, and that was kind of just her accepting that even if she didn't know, she accepted that it was dead. The situation, the relationship was dead. There was no more relationship. And maybe she told herself he died or whatever it was. I wish we could talk to her and find out how she dealt with that. But, you know, even if we could, she's not going to talk to me. That's for sure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but the, this whole twin flame thing makes perfect sense. If you want to know more about the twin flame, go to my Gumroad account. The description's in the box, the description box. The link is in the description box below this video. And I have like this write up about the twin flame. It's $11.11. .11, and you can read about that if you want more information on that. Um, but I am, I will give you one charm. I'll give you one charm and then we'll get going. One charm for Virgo. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. You have, that's interesting. You have the card of hearts. This is the ace of hearts, the ace of cups. Oh gosh, Virgo. This, this feels to me like um, there's definitely 
a blessing coming in here for you, a new love beginning coming in here for you. Um, this is to remind you, you know, that Ace of Cups is, is all about grace and blessings. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, the message here is to focus on you, you will be given grace in this situation. I don't feel, you know, I feel like if, if you're trying to let go of this twin flame that's difficult or things didn't work out or you're just confused about it, I feel like you'll be given grace where you you will be set free from worrying or feeling that need to keep looking back, okay? Um, and I know that sounds very vague, but I feel like in your time of... Um, sorting things out for yourself and, and maybe reading about closure, finding ways to give yourself closure. I do feel like this person is going to make an attempt to give it to you. But until that time, um, even if you seek it or you reach out and ask them, I, I do feel like they will, they'll stall, but, uh, but you will find out. You will be given grace and you will get what you need. That, that's the message. So stay positive. Trust me when I tell you. Whatever's in the dark comes to light every time. And it may not be when we need it, or when we want it to come, but it, it will always be when we need it. And if you were to get it right this second, it probably wouldn't do any good. The timing, trust the timing and trust the process. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there for you. Love you. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>